the station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. Seeing a little bit of blue skies for now, but those clouds are going to draw in as we head throughout the day, plus a little bit of drizzle to come this afternoon into this evening. The district has been setting records this year, but not necessarily the right ones. Coming up, the newest crime related record the district has hit. And how a Maryland community honored the lives of two elementary students killed last week. And as travelers begin to make their way back home from Thanksgiving weekend, how airlines are working to increase accountability. But coming up on 8 o'clock on this Sunday, we begin with a live look outside over the White House. It is a stunning shot. Kind of looks like Derek was saying earlier, a mix of like in between between winter and fall because those leaves still have hanging onto the tree and have their fall colors. But it is chilly out, people, so be prepared. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on DC News Now. I'm Tosin Fakile. We'll get to our top stories in just a bit. But first, Derek is here. So, Derek, how chilly are we talking over the next couple days? It's going to be so chilly, those leaves that are still left are not going to be there by Tuesday. Wow. That's how chilly it's going to get. <laughs> We're going to see, of course, a good bit of wind come our way as we have a cold front off towards the west, which dropped nearly anywhere from uh, going anywhere from between six inches up to a foot of snow in Kansas. It is coming this way and it's going to give us a lot of wind come Monday and Tuesday. No snow though. Thankfully we don't have to deal with that. We're actually seeing a few clouds out there now. I'm actually seeing blue skies here in northwest so things are looking up for today but just rem be reminded that those clouds are going to come back very quickly. These uh, blue skies won't last for too terribly long especially once we head in towards the afternoon. Highs yesterday were 45 degrees and that's 10 degrees below where we're supposed to be this time of year. Uh, other than that, we are seeing, of course, the temperature this morning at around 37, so the low is right on par, but we're going to see temperatures drop nearly 15 degrees below the average Tuesday. We're looking at a high temperature on Tuesday at around 40 degrees. Awfully chilly for this time of year going in towards Tuesday, plus gusty winds on top of that very brisk air coming our way. We'll have a high temperature struggling to make it to 50 today, 49 on Monday. Temperatures drop throughout the day then waking up on Tuesday morning to a temperature of 29. Now, mind you, it will feel as if temperatures were in the upper teens and lower 20s here in the nation's capital. So it's going to feel awfully chilly over the next couple of days. Be sure to bundle up. We have those clouds going to be building back in uh, very shortly as we head in towards the afternoon and then we'll have that chance of rain to come as we head into this evening. 40% chance of rain by 5 o'clock. Temperature going to be right around 49 degrees or so uh, going away from that high temperature today of 50. We have a low pressure system out there right now that is off the coast that is bringing in some moisture and with that cold front off towards the west, we could see some light areas of drizzle today, especially along the tidal Potomac and in towards towards the Chesapeake Bay and on towards the eastern shore. But for the rest of us, we're waiting for this big cold front to pass through on Monday, bringing us that very cold winter air. All right, thank you, Derek. 802 and DC police are investigating a shooting that happened this morning. We're waiting for more details. What we do know now is it happened in the 1900 block of 9th Street Northwest. Police are looking for a 2015 Volkswagen with Maryland tags as a person of interest. We'll bring you more once we get more details from police. And Maryland State Police say a 17 year old was killed in a crash in Frederick County on Friday night. Officials say 17 year old Henry Alberto Sosa Torres was walking across I-70 in Frederick County when he was hit near New Design Road. The driver of the car was taken to the hospital for injuries from that crash. Maryland State Police are investigating the incident. And back in the district, police also investigating a shooting in Northwest that happened on W Street. Police say the man who was shot is conscious and breathing and was taken to the hospital. That investigation is ongoing. And D.C. is breaking a 20 year record for the number of homicides in a single year. So far this year, 250 people have been killed in D.C. That's according to police. The last time the city saw this number of people killed in a year was in 2003. That year, police say 248 people were murdered. And taking a deeper look at the numbers since last year, D.C. has seen a 35 percent increase in homicides this year. Robberies also up 67 percent. Car thefts have almost doubled. There's also been a 27% increase in overall crime. 
804 in a Prince George's County community continues to mourn the deaths of two Riverdale Elementary School students killed by a driver as they walked to school. DC News Now's Dave Laval reports from a vigil that honored the young children's lives. This is the intersection where the two young children died Monday while they walked to school. Hundreds of people turned out Saturday night to mourn their loss. Among those who grieved, some of those who knew them best. I don't have much to see. Fanta Maba just wanted to reflect on her young daughter, Shalom. Please leave us. Oshala was a princess. The 10-year-old and 5-year-old Sky Sosa died Monday after a van struck the two while they used the crosswalk to go to Riverdale Elementary School. This is a very hard time for me as well. Hundreds of mourners, including both families, gathered in the school parking lot for a candlelight vigil. An emotional time for many, including the school's principal. Together we share the weight of the grief and finding solace in unity. Riverdale Parks Mayor offered words of encouragement. In these difficult times, remember that we are all united as a community. A warm hug to all of you. The van also struck a man who walked with the children. He was not seriously hurt. Maryland State Senator Alonzo Washington is among those upset. You should feel safe walking across the street. You should feel safe walking anywhere in this community. And as one of my colleagues said, we failed at that. Members of the local state delegation said they're committed to finding solutions to prevent future tragedies from happening, like the one that took place here. In Riverdale Park, Dave Laval, DC News Now. Thank you, Dave. And still in Prince George's County, they're launching a guaranteed basic income pilot program. It's the first of its kind. For now, the program is limited to under 200 people in that county. Officials say certain people aging out of foster care and senior citizens will receive $800 a month. It'll last for two years and is funded by public and private philanthropies. Well, in the district, a bill to extend D.C.'s youth crime and opioid emergencies is on its way to Mayor Bowser's desk. Bowser declared those public emergencies a few weeks ago. However, emergency declarations only last for 15 days in D.C. unless the council approves an extension. With this newly passed bill, the public emergencies on youth crime and opioids will last until the end of January. All the legislation needs is Mayor Bowser's signature. And even though there's been a lot happening in the district, Mayor Bowser wants to know what people are grateful for here in D.C. Whether you live, work, or play in the district, Mayor Bowser released a 2023 gratitude survey to find out what parts of the district you're grateful for. The survey looks to find out what aspects of daily life in D.C. people are most thankful for. The survey will be turned into a public art installation early next year. A link to the survey can be found through the D.C. government website. 807 and as people begin their commute back home from the holidays, the U.S. Department of Transportation is calling on airlines to improve customer service commitments to passengers. They're hoping to hold the airlines accountable with the new customer service dashboard. The dashboard covers a variety of customer service tools. You can check the most common airline policies on family seating, cancellations and delays. You can also find each airline's specific customer service policy handbook. And finally, if you think an airline you booked with is not fulfilling its customer service requirement, you can file a complaint with the U.S. Department of Transportation. It is 808 and one of D.C.'s favorite traditions is back and brighter than ever. The National Zoo's zoo lights have returned for the 15th year. The Winter Wonderland is lit by more than half a million LED lights and highlights rainforest, grassland, desert, ocean and polar habitats. If you plan on getting in the sites, here are a few things to note. Zoo Lights is open every Friday through Sunday until December 30th. In the last week of December, it's open Tuesday through Saturday. New this year, you have to pay to go. And they're $6 each for people two, two years and older. The door is open at 5 p.m. And heads up, today is the last day for the Maryland Christmas Show in Frederick. The show highlights the work of top local artists and craftsmen just in time to buy those Christmas presents. Our Michaela Newton takes us into the show. 
Nothing says Christmas spirit like Santa oh, oh, oh. and gifts. We got a Christmas nightlight, we got a book, we got some wine. Right now I got these dry uh, nail polish and basically you just put it on, uh, just seal it on and then you're done. In its 40th season, the Maryland Christmas show showcases things like fine art and jewelry from local artists and vendors throughout several buildings and Frederick's fairgrounds. Some vendors are first timers. We paint on roofing tiles. It's a slate product. We use an exterior enamel paint, so it's meant to go outside year round. And we uh, customize it with names or addresses. We also do pet portraits. While others have been attending the show for 30 years and have sold out almost every item. It's just having come here for 30 years, I have repeat customers. I don't really consider them customers as much as friends now. And it's only me making them, so they're limited in number, so people do tend to come earlier on the first day. This is the last weekend of the show. The last day to shop is Sunday until 4 p.m. It's been like nine, five years At or least more. Ten. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. 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 Every, Every Black year. Friday we come. It's been really cool. I think it's nice to see all these different local artists have display their art, and I love supporting local and, you know, finding new cool things, especially for Christmas. Reporting in Frederick, Maryland, Michaela Newton, DC News Now.